Hi friends, it's Dr. Cherry. For this lesson, we are going to study the artwork of Yayoi Kasama. This is her picture. I'm doing my best to look like her. Now, I don't have a stash of wigs at my house, but um, this is as close as I could get to Yayoi Kasama. And she never smiles in her picture, but you know, I like to smile. So wait, here we go. Pretty good job. Okay, so that's Yayoi. Now, we have learned about Yayoi and her love of dots. You see in her photo, she's even wearing dots. We're not gonna wear any dots, but we're gonna rock the dots in this artwork. So here's my sample. It's her pumpkin. Now, in the pumpkin that you saw in the example, it was all yellow, everything was yellow, and lots of lines and crooked lines in the background. We're gonna rock the whole dots from background to foreground to middle ground in the pumpkin. First thing we need to do though is to draw the pumpkin itself. So I'm gonna put the how-to steps on. You can freeze stream it here. Go back, rewind, look at the steps at any time, or you can draw along with me. So make sure you have your journal, your art journal, and a pencil ready to go clean sheet of paper we're going to draw along. Remember, you practice in your art journal for it first. Practice makes not perfect progress. Okay, so for our pumpkin in the style of Yayoi, let's start with a straight line. As straight as you can get it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing's perfect. If it were nature, it wouldn't be perfect. And then we're going to draw a bubble to the side and bring it to the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. See, they're not equal, it's okay. We're gonna do the same thing again. And you notice it gets kind of flat on the bottom. Imagine that this is the ground the pumpkin is growing on. So we have two on each side and let's just do a third. Here we've drawn the pumpkin. Let's draw the stem. And we're done. Easy, right? Okay, so I'm gonna draw a table it's sitting on. Okay, now we just have to add the dots. Now you can draw your circles or your dots by hand, or you can use one of these. This is called a template, and this has lots of different size of circles. So you can trace something that you have at home that's a circle, or you can use one of these, or you could just do it freehand. It's up to you. I'm going to do it freehand. So I want to put medium sized circles in the spaces here. I'm going kind of fast, but you know, normally I would take my time. You can do this along with me, or you can just watch and pick it up later. I think this section, I'm going to put bigger circles. And then maybe medium again. So they're not perfect, but if it were my final piece, I would be taking my time. Okay, now, how do we treat the rest of the page? You can do circles. Like Yayoi did in hers. Or maybe you want to do stripes. Up to you. I would really like to see all circles though. But I'm gonna give you some artistic freedom. So let's look at my finished one. You know what, let's go through the steps again. So we're gonna draw it first. Let me erase this. So we have the steps. First, can you see that, the steps? If you need to freeze frame it here. And then, we had our pumpkin. And then I 
have my finished pumpkin with all my circles drawn on. I'll leave that there. And then for my finished piece, I have this one. Now in this one, I used all warm colors. Now, and some of Yoyoi's pieces, she used all yellow. The, remember the yellow pumpkin that we saw? She used all yellow. Now, I could have done that, but I wanted to see what it would look like if only the pumpkin was yellow. And what happened is, it the other colors made the yellow pop out some more. So it'll be interesting to see how yours turns out, okay? Remember, draw first, trace with a Sharpie, erase any pencil lines you see, and then add color. Got it? All right. Thanks for joining. Can't wait to see your results. Bye.